Well, now it is Tuesday, and according to Kanye's recent Instagram post, it is indeed over. Adidas no longer wanted any part of the negotiations. It's over. As I stated in the prior video, not only is Kanye leaving, but he is leaving prematurely due to a breach in the contract, and now this leaves a lot of us wondering what will happen to the Yeezys that were already produced. Are they still going to be released, or will they be completely destroyed, never to see the light of day? There's an absolutely massive amount of stock for each of these colorways, and numerous colorways, and that includes the highly anticipated return of the Yeezy 350 Pirate Black. Hence, today we'll be discussing what the most probable situation for these unreleased but already produced Yeezys is going to be. Exactly how this ends up playing now all depends on what legal agreement Kanye's legal team can come to with Adidas. While the prior contract may have specifically outlined, just as it likely did for Nike, Adidas was to seize all sales of any Yeezy product. However, since there was allegedly a breach in the contract, this makes things a lot more flexible. This particular situation is very different from most artists or athlete royalty deals for two notable reasons. For one reason, there was allegedly a breach in the initial contract, and two, the sheer magnitude of the stock involved in this situation compared to any other athlete or artist royalty contract is absolutely insane. For example, when Kanye left Nike, while the relationship did indeed go sour as well, there was no breach in the contract. Furthermore, the stock of the non-released Yeezy 2s was exponentially lower than even a single colorway of one of the already produced Adidas Yeezys. Not only that, that, but there weren't even any new colorways produced, it was solely just the leftover Yeezy 2s. There were no releases following that breakup, rather those leftover pairs apparently just disappeared. I personally doubt that they were destroyed given their secondary market value, most likely some higher ups and Nikes were granted access to them, but there's no evidence to suggest that so I can't say that for sure, but you guys can judge for yourself. There were also rumors about pairs floating around in the outlets, but I think this could have been due to the same sh that we see on YouTube nowadays with clowns just basically putting these types of shoes on shelves before they start recording, claiming, hey, look what I found so they could get some clickbait. What is very clear though is that none of the leftover stock for those Yeezy 2s had future official releases after Kanye's leave, and this is essentially what you would normally see with any royalty-based type deal. Often with less valuable items, when the deal concludes, if there is still remaining stock, it often just gets destroyed. But again, I must emphasize this situation is very different for the reasons I mentioned. Hence, there are two potential scenarios. In my opinion, the most likely is that Kanye's legal team and Adidas reach some sort of an agreement to sell all of the already produced Yeezys, but seize production on future Yeezys. The reason being is because both parties have notable incentive to not have the pairs completely destroyed, considering the vast amount of stock there really is. Allowing all that potential to go to waste would certainly not be acting in shareholder interest, and Kanye himself would certainly not mind a 15% on the extremely vast amount of Yeezys. It would be extremely peculiar to see him give all of that up, because that's a truly vast amount of money. So in this hypothetical scenario, we would still see many more Yeezys release, including those lovely Pirate Blacks. In order to preserve long-term demand for their brand, however, it is very probable that they won't drop all their stock and colorways at once. They might drag it out for a very long period of time, so much so that we might even get to see another Yeezy day. That is, of course, unless this agreement that they end up coming to puts some sort of a deadline on when Adidas is to sell all their products products by. So again, given that this breach situation makes things a bit more flexible, and considering the truly vast amount of stock, I believe this to be the most likely scenario. I just find it too hard to believe that so much potential revenue could be destroyed out of spite. And that is for both parties, of course. Typically, in royalty contracts, you'd also see a line similar to if there is a breach, the grantor will agree to not hold the grantee responsible for damages, losses, or injuries as a result. But again, we have no idea precisely what the confidential agreement between Adidas and Yeezy states, so we'll just have to see. But again, I do feel this is the most likely outcome. On the other hand, though, there is the possibility that Kanye doesn't care for that 15% in royalties. Perhaps out of spite, again, it seems that he's not entirely financially motivated, as we went over in the first video regarding the situation 
situation, and if that is indeed the case, since Kanye is the party claiming the alleged breach, if valid, he could very well have Adidas seize all sales, and that would mean we'd probably never see those Pirate Blacks ever release. Again though, I think that this scenario is rather unlikely, of course, we will have to see though. I'm just hoping I could get my hands on a pair of those nice Pirate Black 350s, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Personally, I'm really not happy about this, I like the quality of the Adidas Yeezys, but nonetheless, I am excited to see whatever Kanye can now produce in the future. Before concluding today though, just a heads up that eDeals is now open, you can purchase a membership with the link in the description for only $14.99, all information regarding it can be found on the eDeals website, again, linked in the description. It's an excellent way to help you guys save hundreds of dollars every month through free food, heavily discounted orders, free Amazon products, sneaker monitors, release info, exclusive endurance group buys, and much more. So again, the link is in the description below to join for only $14.99 if you are interested, but that will conclude it for today. You could subscribe and enable post notifications. This way you stay 100% updated on all hyped sneakers. Also, be able to check out the other links in the description below for kit proxies if you're looking for fast and reliable residential proxies. Furthermore, you could be able to follow Endurance at Twitter for updates on the next restock or key giveaways. And the same goes for Gargantua AIO if you want to keep up with the progress or restocks. Last but not least, make sure to follow Keith Adam 10 and personals for you. This way you guys can stay updated and all urgent info like I was going over today. With that though, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And of course, let's hope that we can get a pair of those nice Pyre Black 350s.